Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 280. That is, what is Kanban? Let me answer. So what is Kanban? Kanban is one of the agile methodologies. First of all, there are different SDLC models like waterfall model, spiral model, big bang model, V model, agile model, rad model, and so on. Agile is one of the SDLC models. Under Agile SDLC model, there are different methodologies or we can call them as frameworks. Agile methodologies are Agile frameworks we have. Kanban is one of them. So what are the different Agile methodologies we generally have? We generally have the Agile methodologies as Scrum, Kanban. You see Kanban is one of the Agile methodology or framework. Lean, Extreme Programming, Crystal, DSDM and others, okay? So Kanban is, you see Scrum is the top number one in the market, guys. okay? Most of the projects in the market uh, are using Scrum methodology of Agile, but uh, it doesn't mean that Kanban is uh, not being used. Kanban is also famous in the market, okay? So second famous I can say is Kanban, okay? So some projects are using even Kanban, okay? So Scrum and Kanban are leading in the market as part of Agile methodologies or frameworks. So if you already know Scrum, you may have heard about a term known as sprints, okay? In the previous sessions, in the one of the uh, previous sessions, interview questions, I already covered what is Scrum, guys, okay? If you are following this interview questions in a sequence man manner, okay? By this time, you already know what is Scrum and what are sprints and all those stuff. I don't have to explain, okay? In Scrum, the work will happen in the form of sprints, that is iterations, okay? That is uh, time-bound iterations. Every two weeks, some work will be assigned. By the end of the two weeks, the work need to be completed. Again, next sprint will start in Scrum, guys. So I'm, I'm talking about Scrum methodology. So work will happen in the form of iterations like this, okay? I'll show you. In Scrum, the work will happen in the form of iterations. Iteration one, two weeks. In the two weeks, whatever the amount of work uh, requirements are given, that requirements need to be developed, tested, and uh, done whatever, delivered by the end of the sprint, okay? So the, uh, the functionality should be ready. After this, Sprint is completed, first sprint of two weeks, uh, let's say two weeks is completed, then second sprint will start, second iteration will start. Some other set of uh, uh, sto requirements or stories based on the priorities and uh, urgencies will be assigned and uh, they need to be completed by the end of the sprint. Third, third iteration, fourth iteration, fifth iteration, sixth iteration and so on guys. This is how the work happens in Scrum, okay? These are all sprints, these iterations uh, which are time bound like two weeks uh, time bound are nothing but sprints. But in Kanban, we don't have any sprints. Now, there is no time bound, guys. We are not going to fix the time, okay? In Kanban, there is no fixing of the time, okay? The work will not happen in iterations. It is a continuous work. Work will be done in a continuous process, okay? This much amount of work is there. Take it and do it. That's it, okay? You don't have to complete in two weeks or three weeks or one week or four weeks like that we do in Scrum. But in Kanban, it's just a continuous process, guys, okay? Work started, work need to be completed over a period of time, okay? Work need to be completed over a period. It is a continuous process, okay? So here, work in progress limit will be there. So I'll, I'll explain, guys, how the work happens in Kanban, okay? I'm talking about Kanban here. Just see here, Kanban. In Kanban, how the work happens is, you see, let's say there is a board here, okay? Let's uh, break this board into three parts. I don't want to make this concept uh, complex. You can go for complex videos also on Kanban, but whatever I'm explaining will be enough uh, for you to for you guys to understand Kanban. If you already know Scrum, Kanban is very easy to understand. Okay, here, develop or build, okay? Develop, develop, uh, then test and done state, okay? Done state, like these three states are there. And uh, here, all the requirements are there, okay? All the requirements in the form of stories or whatever you call, right? will be there, all the requirements, uh, okay, will be there. So out of all these uh, requirements or stories, whatever you call, okay, you have to assign them, okay? So here, but here the, the work is a continuous process. There is no time bound. There is no two weeks or three weeks uh, thing, okay? They have to, uh, this work need to pass like this and go this side, okay? The, whatever the requirements are there, they have to come from this side and go this side. That's what is the thing. It is a continuous until all these things are completed. Okay. Then the work will be done. It is a continuous process. There is no time bound or nothing. Okay. So work in progress limits will be there here. That means, for example, here, for, for example, if you take this develop block, 
okay if there are only uh, two developers uh, they can only work on four one two three four requirements okay out of all these requirements okay based on the priority or whatever it is okay from this uh, box product backlog you can say product owner will create the product backlog right here also product owner will create product backlog this is called as product backlog uh, the pending requirements that need to be developed and tested by the team okay product backlog will be there so from this product backlog the requirements need to be pulled here but how much how many requirements need to be pulled depends on number of uh, developers we have for example here uh, if the number of developers are two uh, and uh, if you are setting uh, let's say the number of developers uh, are two and if you are setting the limit as four here okay two developers can work on four four items at a time so from this product backlog we will pull okay as part of the project how many how many items will be pulled how many uh, requirements will be pulled only four requirements not more than okay it may be smaller uh, large uh, based on the capacity guys okay based on the capacity not more than four cannot be pulled so this development team will work on uh, these four items at this time okay you can you are you are not entitled to add fifth item here okay because that is beyond the capacity your limits are there for this for this phase the limit uh, development team two members are there so four is the limit let's say there is only one tester so here let's say two is the limit only two two items can be tested okay so maybe uh, after the development has, team has completed here for example after the development team has completed uh, let's say this uh, two pr high priority items uh, they have moved it so once they have moved but what is the bandwidth of this development here here limit is two here limit is four but only two are there so what they will do is they will pull it, pull from here okay they will pull the items from here this uh, this product backlog they will pull the items okay they are from the product backlog they will pull the items here okay at a time only four will be there if if any vacancies are there they will be pulled from the product backlog and here if there are any vacancies for example testing team has already uh, tested this one and moved to the done state in that case development team whatever the requirement that is ready will move here okay at a time only two items can be there here okay here one vacancy has come so what they will do they will move one of the item from the product backlog to development team okay this is a continuous process guys once it is done this will move to this side okay so the pro all these requirements will continuously move on to the right side if any anyone is blocked if anything is blocked guys okay so there is a concept known as dots they will put lot of dots here so that everyone focus on this particular story and try to try to move it to the right side okay so that's what will happen if any blockages happen also the entire team instead of worrying about how much amount of uh, time it is taking and all they worry about uh, whether the, the items are being completed in a quality manner okay here quality is very important guys okay rather than the time okay within the time limit uh, this much amount of work this is not the concept in kanban in that in scrum that is a concept in kanban quality is a concept which quality the items have to move to the right side okay so they are not forcing the people to uh, overload okay they are not uh, overloading the work okay whatever the limit they are checking and if anything is blocking everyone is there to help okay product owner is there to help business is there to help development team is there to help testing team is everyone will look into that particular kind of item which is not moving to the right side and will move okay so this is what happens in uh, kanban guys work work in progress limits will be there whether it may be in development uh, stage or testing stage or done state so pulling the work from the backlog uh, backlog depends on the team limits okay if the how many developers are there how many testers are there based, based on the developer limit will be set and test limit will be set and so on okay so uh, though kanban kanban way of uh, developing or testing the software is different from the scrum way of doing the stuff there are some common things between scrum and kanban also what are those common things here also daily stand up meetings will be there in kanban also we have the daily stand up meetings but here we call the scrum master in, in scrum we call the the person who conducts this daily stand up meeting as a scrum master but in in kanban we call that particular person as agile coach okay so the name is different guys in in uh, kanban we call the scrum master as agile coach okay so here also demos with stakeholders will be there in the scrum also we demo the things right in order to move from uh, like a definition of done is something like after demonstration only they can be moved demos with stakeholders okay and here retrospective meetings here also retrospective meetings will happen okay so they will uh, you know right self motivate them and self check like uh, how, how much good work they are doing and they will keep on working okay uh, self improvising teams you can say okay so these are few things that are common with the scrum guys but uh, ultimately you understood the idea right here uh, there is no particular time limit and uh, here uh, work in progress limits are there okay here two developers means four items can be done okay 
so after uh, if more than four will not be assigned here if any vacancy comes then only we will pull here okay if any vacancy in the test we'll pull from here like that and the work will completed in a continuous way okay uh, after one item is going off another item will come based on the priorities and all okay so hope guys you understood what is kanban at a high level in this session so this much amount of knowledge is enough for any person who want to understand what is kanban agile methodology so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye